Hello, um, welcome to Wednesday's Reflection. So today we celebrate the life of um, a wonderful lady, Anne Griffiths. She was um, a Welsh poet and as we know in the land of music and song we, we love our poets and uh, and I, do, I, I love it when life rhymes but I'm going to read you a little bit about her, her life story. Anne was born in 1776 and at the age of 20 Anne underwent an experience of conversion and she joined the Methodist Society in Pontrebert the following year. After her father's death in 1804 Anne married Thomas Griffiths but died in August 1805 shortly after the birth of their child. Anne's hymns are amongst the greatest treasures of Welsh Christian literature. Most of them were learnt by heart by her illiterate maid, Ruth Evans, and she repeated them to her husband, John Hughes, who wrote them down. Anne's verses combine a depth of spirit, personal spiritual experience with a profound understanding of the central truths of the Christian faith. Eight of her letters also survive and give an insight into the depths of her character and her beliefs. It just struck me reading her story as we celebrate her life today, you know, how um, creative we become when we fall in love with God. And, you know, poetry and music touches us, our hearts, our souls in places that just normal words cannot. And so I was thinking about my own conversion story, really. And, and um, I think in tribute to Anne Griffiths on this day when we celebrate her life, I thought I'd share with you uh, my poem, um, I love it when life rhymes, so I thought I'd read to you my poem and my story of conversion in tribute to Anne Griffiths. It's called Cheese Butties and Salt and Vinegar Crisps. It was a gloomy winter time in rainy Oldham when on a Monday morning I turned up for work. Nothing unusual for a retail assistant but a new book in my bag next to my butties did lurk. Customers came and customers went, then lunchtime finally arrived. My belly was rumbling, it was time for sarnies. Another morning at work had survived. Off to the staff room I joyously trotted, ready to catch up on staff gossip and chat. But to my surprise, the staff room was empty. And I thought to myself, how unusual is that? There was normally at least one staff member in the staff room, but I grabbed my bag with my butties for lunch. And I suddenly remembered I'd brought a new book. So I took out my book to read as I munch. Good morning, Holy Spirit was the title of the book. Let's see what this has to say, I thought. And I began to read about a relationship with the spirit that this man had and my heart it caught. And I read of this man and the relationship he had with this spirit I didn't know, it made me quite sad. That he knew God and he knew his heart in so many different ways. Now I knew I wasn't a saint, but did I have so many sinful days? What did I do to be unreachable for God? What pit had I fallen down, a pit so deep that God in all his glory, me, he could not reach? And the tears, the burning tears, began to flow down my cheek. I've never felt such darkness and I've never felt so weak. To think that God could not love me, to think that God could not look at this wretched human being. Lightning may have well have struck my heart, my soul, my whole being. As I cried, Abba, Father, please forgive me for whatever I require. Lord, love me, I begged on my knees. But you know they say that when someone falls on their knees, it doesn't mean the battle is done. When you fall on your knees before God, it means the fight has begun. And in a staff room in Oldham, on a rainy day, I felt the Holy Spirit come my way. A peace that passes understanding flooded through my heart and soul. For the first time in my life, I genuinely didn't feel alone. From the days that continued, scripture all of a sudden became real. My relationship with God grew into one heck of a deal. 
Now I'm not sure if I found God or he found me between cheese butties and salt and vinegar crisps. But one's, one thing's for sure, on the search for his children, God will always persist. So I'm here to tell you this morning, if God can reach me, he can reach anyone. On the cross, God covered the payment outstanding. We got relationship status through his son. God has the power to turn wrong to right. With God's love and acceptance, there's no risks. And he can do it in the most unlikely situations. Even between cheese butties and salt and vinegar crisps. Other flavours are available. Stay safe. Have a great day with God.